In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to line a mesh basket satellite dish with acrylic mirror. To start with, you want to take a large piece of clear acrylic, lay it flat on the dish, and outline it with a marker. This will give you the dimensions that you need, and you can use this as a guide. You always want to use gloves whenever you're handling the material because it has very sharp edges. The material that I like to use is 1 8 of an inch. It's really flimsy. It's not real thick material. You always want to place this material face down so that the white part is facing the table and the gray part is facing up. The white part's very durable and scratch resistant. The gray part isn't. Try to do this when you're not out in the sun because the sun can actually heat up the gray part and damage it. I'm doing a voiceover for most of this video because... To shape the clear acrylic guide, you use the same cutting technique for the acrylic mirror that I show later in this video. I use neodymium magnets to hold the guide in place when I mark it with the marker, that way it doesn't slide around. It's important to note that the lines from base to peak on the guide are not perfectly straight. They're a little bit egg-shaped, they bow out in the center. This is important because this shape is what allows it to fit nicely into the dish. Cutting a large piece of material like this on a table saw is virtually impossible because it's so flimsy. A simple solution is to rough cut your material down to a more manageable size. I set the blade for a quarter inch depth and use a regular handsaw to cut it with the regular blade. You can use an acrylic blade for this and some people like taking the blade off and flipping it around backwards to melt through the material. So you want to make sure that this is really, really tight? By carefully plunging a moving blade into the back of the material, you approach the material on the flat part versus the edge. This prevents chipping and provides a nice smooth surface. and you can see that I actually went through a little bit and scored my table. That's a pretty good depth right there because I was able to get a cut nice. That's not a perfect cut, it's not a clean cut, but if that's the only saw that you have and you're really slow and you're really careful, you can do it with the saw like that. I'm gonna take this piece over to the table saw and we're gonna I'm gonna show you that cut. When cutting acrylic material, it's a good idea to do this outside. Use eye protection and a good respirator mask. By setting the table saw blade low, it prevents the chipping as I mentioned before, and it also allows you to make that slight curve without banging into the blade. Remember that the blue mark that we put on this was from the guide on the outside. So you want to remove the blue line. You want to cut right into it so that you barely remove the blue line. By carefully removing the protective coating, you expose a beautiful mirrored surface that will last years in daily sunlight. The size of each of the panels on a dish like this may vary a little bit, so you may need to trim a few just a touch smaller. There are a couple different options for mounting this mirror permanently to your dish. One option is to take an acrylic drill bit, drill a series of small holes along the edge of the mirror, and use small bolts to mount it and fasten it to the mesh. Another option is to use a spray mount adhesive, but this may be difficult to get off should you ever damage one of the mirrors and need to replace it.